What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Matan from Teaming Up Glitch Gaming coming at you with a brand new deck profile, guys. I'm coming at you with my Sky Striker deck profile today because I've been playing it for quite a while and I know you guys haven't seen my deck profiles in quite a bit. It's been a minute since the last time I showed any of my decks because I've been doing uh, a lot of deck profiles for other people. Um, guys, stay tuned as well for my boy who came top 32 at nationals shout outs to my boy joseph for coming top 32 congratulations brother guys stay tuned for his deck profile it's coming up he has a very very spicy deck so stay tuned for that um i'm coming at you with my sky strikers because like i've been playing it for a while like i said and also because i i spent a lot of time and effort practicing with this deck and uh I did make some modifications to the deck last couple days. Um, I finally got my my last couple hand traps that I needed. As we go along, as we go through the deck, I will show you guys the changes I've made and everything like that. And uh, yeah, without further ado, guys, let's uh, just jump right into this deck profile. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, there's lots of amazing stuff coming towards this channel. Uh, first of all, I want to I want to give some shout outs. <clears throat> so first of all, shout outs to to my family, of course. Uh, shout outs to my mom, my dad, my brother, and my my two sisters. Uh, shout outs to my daughter. Um, shout outs to shout outs to C Cody Ryan, John Davis Hall. Shout outs to Derek Maybe. Uh, shout outs. To shout outs to face to face games, guys, come check us out on the Danforth um, in Toronto. Shout outs to shout outs to the best team in the game, Team Game Nation. Uh, shout outs to Dominic Couch, Jesse Cotton, Asala. Uh, shout outs to Ryan Yu. Congratulations, Ryan, for for coming second place at uh, at Nationals in Chicago. Um, shout outs to the first place winner as well, whoever you are, um, shout outs to everybody else, but yeah, without further ado guys, let's, uh, jump right into this deck profile. This is a budget Sky Striker 2022 deck. Enjoy it. Um, I wouldn't call it, okay, I'd say mid budget, not exactly budget, if you know what I'm saying, <laughs> but Without further ado, I'll start off with the main deck and then we'll go from there. So to start off, of course, we are playing three Ray, Ray's Bay. We all know your main card of the deck. You don't need, there's no explanations for her. And I'm playing double rows. Um, I was gonna, I was gonna play this card at one because me personally, I think the correct ratio is three Ray, one rows. Um, yeah, so, but, Again, I do I do not play Prosperity in this deck because I can't afford it right now. I'm too broke for that. I'm not rich, like y'all. Um, so I have to play at least the max amount of these. So I mean, three is the max amount, but like, eh. Oh yeah. By the way, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, to Go Four Games, my boy Calvin, for hooking me up with these amazing Japanese sleeves. Guys, if you guys want to get Japanese sleeves, go check out Go4 Games. It's located downtown Toronto, Dundas, and Spadina area. Go check it out. Um, and there's lots of amazing food down there as well that you guys can get. Um, if you guys like Chinese food, um, this these sleeves are completely insane. Shout outs to my boy Calvin for hooking me up. Oh yeah, and shout outs to my team, of course. That goes to... Uh, Toma, who's in Paris right now, uh, Yanis, Kadim, uh, Morishad, uh, Brent, Hannah, uh, Mazin, and everybody else on my team. So, big shout outs to you guys. You guys are amazing teammates. I appreciate you guys and everything you guys do for me and supporting me. And yeah, we'll talk soon. Uh, continuing on with the deck profile, guys. For hand traps, I'm playing 3 Ash. Staple. Uh, yeah. Three Ash. Three Valor. Three Ghost Ogre. I'm playing three Nibiru and... and 
3 Emperor. Um, a lot of people are cutting the beard down to 2 these days. Um, but uh, I think 3 is definitely the, is definitely the correct ratio for this. Um, again, I really, I really like 3. Um, I think 15 is definitely correct. Um, so the, hand, the new cards that I got for this deck are the Imperms and the Nibirus. And I have three new cards in my side deck as well. Um, Shoutouts to the six Yu-Gi-Oh for hooking me up with the Nibirus. And the Drolls, which you guys will see in my sideboard. Uh, so shoutouts to him. So that's it for the hand traps. Let's move on to the spells. So for the Sky Striker spells, I'm running two Afterburner. I think I think two afterburn is correct. Three Widowmaker. Two Shark Cannon. Now a lot of people are playing Shark Cannon at one. Some people are playing it at two. I've seen people playing it at three. Um, me personally, I think two is correct. I don't think one is enough. Um, you always want to see it. So me personally, I always want to see it. But because of the fact that I am not running pros Prosperity, I'm running uh, Desires. I have to run at least two or th two to three of these, so that way I don't banish it. So that's why I maxed out on everything. Um, one area zero, engage, multi roll, and hornet drones. Um, I think this is definitely correct ratio. Um, I'm not complaining. I actually really really enjoy it. So, on to moving on to the gen more generic spells of the deck. Three Mystic Mind. This card's cancer needs to get banned. Uh, three Demise of the Land. No, sorry, two Demise of the Land. I don't know why I just said three, but yeah, two Demise. I mean, this card's not bad. Um, it definitely helps in the grind game, especially if I want to get Mystic Mine or Area Zero, if I haven't searched it yet. Um, but it's really not half bad, guys. Oh, yeah, shout outs as well to, to Nocturne. Congratulations on your big top at uh, at locals. Uh, two potted desires. This card's insane. I'm not complaining. Um, I know I should be playing prosperity, but again, I'd rather banish my main deck than banish my my extra deck. I'd like to be able to play my, with my extra deck. So, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah. And then Staple, Rhoda, Terraforming, Kobai. Um, Nothing to say here. Really, really good. And then the last card I'm playing in the deck is one Metaverse. I'm um, gonna be able to search for my uh, for my Mystic Mine or again my Area Zero if I haven't searched it yet. So and I can play it on my on my opponent's turn. So it's really, really good. So that's it for the main deck. Let's move on to the extra deck. So extra deck is pretty self-explanatory, guys. Uh, for the for those of you striker players out there, you all should know what this is. Um, but let's just go through it. So I'm playing three Kagari. Pretty self-explanatory. No complaints there. Three Shizuku. I'm playing only two Hayate. I don't feel that three is necessary for this deck. Um, unless you're like playing like completely pure. Um, I mean, okay, I guess my deck is completely pure. Um, but I, I, again, it's preference, guys. It really depends. So, one Kaina, one Zeke. This card's crazy. And this card sucks. If I had to choose between something to take out from this, I would be Kaina. Because Kaina is not the, the greatest of cards. Um, and then Christian, Hako, Fibrax, Celine, and Axis Code. Um, yeah, access code is access code. Um, Lina. Lina is really good to get Nibiru out of the deck if you really need to. I can get Nibiru, Valor, or anything like that. Super duper amazing. Her first effect is really good as well. And then one Dark Charmer. This card's insane. This needs to get banned. So, yeah, that's it for the extra onto the sideboard um we're playing three draws i need hollows guys don't judge me 
I'm poor. <laughs> uh, three, three D to curl. Definitely good, guys. Be careful. Get if you guys are playing Sky Strikers. I highly recommend playing DD Crow, and I highly recommend getting your hands on um, what's my call? Um, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. I need to get a playset myself, so um, so I shouldn't be really talking, but I'm just saying, definitely get them if you guys want to play. If you guys are playing against Splite or Tier of the Elements, um, three Twin Twisters. This card's insane. Three Darker No More. Super duper amazing. And then for those of you Despia players, take this. Three dimensional barrier. Your fusions are fucked. Don't try it. This card's super duper amazing. Um, I really enjoy this card. Honestly, it's completely insane. I was main decking it for a while, um, but eh, decided to side it instead. So, yeah. So, let's show you guys my face now. So you guys can see me for a quick second. And let me turn this camera around. Or however I do so. Anyways. Anyways, guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Um, guys. Um, Power of the Elements is coming out August 5th. Go pre-order your boxes, your cases right now before they go up in price. If you guys want to play Splite or Tear of the Elements. Um, again, shout outs to everybody I mentioned. Um, also, shout outs to 401 Games Toronto. You guys host amazing tournaments. Um, and uh, with all that being said, guys, this is your boy Matan from Team Elders Gaming. Peace and out. Peace, guys.